All right, close enough. Looks like that's working pretty well. Uh, there's a little bit of movie magic in terms of syncing up the audio, the webcam, the Xbox, and the timings are just a little bit off, So, I, but I want to get the timing just right so that when I'm reacting to something in the game, I want it to look like I'm actually living in the same time zone as my Xbox. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I want to play two games tonight of Civilization Revolution. And the first game is going to be a cultural victory with the Romans on Deity. Second game is probably going to be a game with the Aztecs. I figure it will also be a game with a cultural victory. But uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll play that one by ear. Here we go. Uh, just being a noob here a little bit. Aztec cultural victory on the Should probably rename my broadcast so people know what I'm up to here. There we go. Oh no wait, that's that's the next one. Let's do Roman. Roman cultural victory. There we go. So let's talk about the Romans real quick. Um, not exactly a power civilization, but they're definitely uh, formidable. They have... Actually, I don't even need these. They have... One of the best things about the Romans is they start with code of laws. And they start as a republic government because of that. So... There are two reasons that's wonderful. Uh, number one, you can expand right away if you have the means to do so. Uh, Republic is the expansion government. If you want to grow your empire, that's the way to do it. So I think that's what the game designers were thinking when they set up you know, the Roman Empire with a code of laws and Republic because they wanted them to be known as a, a good, good expanders because they were one of the great global empires in history. So that's what they designed them with. And then they also start with half price roads. Of course, if you want a big empire, you're going to need roads to connect all those disparate cities together. And then, uh, so actually, in practice, though, it's a decent, it's not a total waste. I mean, there are better bonuses that you can uh, out there in the game in terms of power gaming. But uh, it's pretty good if you want to use something like legions or even armies to defend a bunch of different cities at once. It makes you a little more flexible. Uh, then medieval, they get a pretty cool one. It's half price wonders, which is awesome. Actually, it's a some people like using that one to say build a lot of Ro Roman legions in the ancient and medieval era, and then once they get and then once they get feudalism they just finish well they'll have to get feudalism and they would have to get invention which is not easy and from that point they would build also the uh, Leonardo's whatchamacallit so that you can upgrade all of your units right away and then that would turn all of your legions into knights uh, sometimes that can be a pretty good strategy it's like getting really cheap knights but um, sometimes that's sometimes that can work out. Sometimes not. Depends how the game goes. Uh, and then we also have gr more great people. Just makes lower culture culture requirements for each cultural milestone. Not really a good one. Um, again, really that pushes them more towards a cultural victory. And then new cities have plus one population in the modern era. And uh. That one's not really going to help you out too much. By the time you get to the modern era, you're probably done expanding anyway. So, I don't really see that as a great one. That's not really helping you out. Let's see what they give us here. Just a heads up to everyone that's here, you can, uh, if you type in the chat room, we actually have the chat overlay magic going on. So if you want to say hello, don't be shy. Uh, 
based on my cheat master vision finder it looks like I have a peninsula to my east I, I'm not really sure where, how far that goes over sometimes you can get a and this is kind of a weird one because going southwest it looks like it actually goes closer to the pole to Antarctic Antarctica down here hey J mesh what's going on but uh this is not too risky to go this way huh what do we got here we got one all right nothing too crazy my days are numbered now on the second turn here sometimes you can get oh I see the Greek see that see that cheating magic up here so the Greek or like or that's the Zulu which would be even worse oh hello there oof I don't know about that. <laughs> oh no. I better run. I don't think you want to be this close to the Zulu. I'm probably better off sitting over here to be honest. This is pretty risky. I mean, I could go north, but then I could get just really weird. Who knows what's going on over here? The Zulu are definitely going to come out and get this like almost right away. Huh. Yeah, they're gonna. Give me a hard time here for sure. If I settle here, that's no good either. This could actually work. I'm a little bit farther away from those jerks. Kind of a weird setup, but I'm not. I don't really fear the Greek. They just kind of sit around. Unfortunately, I didn't hit any goodies. They're already sending me gold. That's really nice. So that means they are right next to me now if this was head to head with the computer I would not do this but what I'm going to do is I'm going to block them right here they're not going to march right into my tree area here but I know they're right here because they just took this hut so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way and that'll block well actually they're not there so they're running off somewhere else but I need, I need to take advantage of that whale. Holy cow. So this looks like the Greek. That's kind of weird. So they're just going to sit there and be peaceful. Yeah, seriously. Not the Zulu. Anything but that. On the bright side, the Athens are, the Greek are just going to sit here. So I can actually run through here. I'm hoping what I can do to defuse the Zulu here is end up at some point coming up here, end up selling them uh, Code of Laws. And then hopefully they start expanding and I could take out some of their capitals. Unfortunately, this is not a good start. These guys are just sending me tons of caravans. 
Wow, that's a lot of gold. I'm wondering if, I'm wondering if they're going to get that settler. Their first settler. Maybe I could take it out. I'm going to have to use... I'm going to have to rush... This is a pretty raw. This is a really bad <laughs> positioning right here. Is they're starting me off on this at the end of this really gnarly peninsula with two enemies, so it's really not the kind of scenario you want to be in. But the Greek do not explore. That is for. Oh, here we go. Found a forest, so that will help a little bit. Oh. So they're the Zulu. They got their first settler, as you can see. So I'm wondering where that guy's going. Alright, so what you can do in this game is you can hit A to find where their guys are. You can move this little... So I found ones right here. That's a nice way to do a little intel. <laughs> find yourself coming back to this game, huh? I haven't even played 5, not even one time. Where is this settler? Is he just going to hang out? I'm going to have to press this guy. What did they do with this settler? Well, moving one army north, one army south. We'll see what happens. I gotta start finding some goodies. I'm gonna be in big trouble. What do I got here? One... Don't mind me, buddy. This guy's growing the city. Look, he's getting food. That's good. I'm okay with that. found something. Not sure what to do quite yet. Which 
this I need a lookout up here on this mountain. On this little hill. Oh Yeah, there's no way. He's too far. Maybe if I could have snuck up on him, but this guy is too... That will make it too difficult. Yep. I think forget it. Play it safe. Yeah, I have like no space. If I can put one guy here, one guy here, I can s at least seal this off and eliminate any chance of a surprise attack. I'm not expecting anything from Athens, so I'm not too worried about them. They're pretty much a non-factor. These guys are going to have to be my MVPs. Get out there and get some money. I might have to go... Hit the islands. Just don't have a lot of choices here. Sweet. See if I can freak this guy out. Now they're democracy, democracy, so they they have to accept if I d declare peace. So now I know these guys have money see if I give them code of laws I might be able to steal some steal some settlers possibly but I don't even have veterans or anything like that I think I can use the 50 gold better than I mean if you give them code of laws I mean I'm just going to have to take the risk right now. Oh, did you see that? You see that free move for that warrior? <laughs> uh... This guy has no money. They never have money. So I'm at 66. And I have this guy. So I got a shot here. Whoever, the French and whoever else is in this game has so much control of the map. Because three of us are just shoehorned in this tiny little peninsula.
Just in case, I'm going to bring this... Bring this back. I don't want to risk it. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew that was it. I knew it was a name tile. Knew it! Uh, change government. No, that's not what I wanted. Bronze. That's a good thing. Ooh, four ancient relics. There we go. Beautiful. Plenty of money. So we're getting our settlers, and then what we can do is we can build a boat and get the heck out of here. This place is a dump. Zulu are looking pretty strong, but um, considering they always have pretty strong starts, shouldn't feel too bad about this quite yet. Still plenty of get plenty of time left on the cl game clock. These guys are going to be my little explorers. A lot of really nice land over there. Damn, these guys got a road and everything. And same trick here, since I sold them, sent them a camel. See if I can sell him Code of Laws, 55 gold, beautiful. So it's a nice bargaining chip that the Romans have, and we'll see what the, what the AI does with that. They're all still despotism, so. We're going to have to rush a galley. Actually, I might as well make this an army. And then next turn, I'll get the galley. Figure if you're going to get two, you might as well get three. So this is a little bit different from what I've done in the past, but you have to you definitely have to adapt to the game's circumstances in this game. You know, this game doesn't throw a lot of maps at you that are very formulaic and totally balanced, you know, like a game like StarCraft, the, you know, the maps are like mirror images of each other. But this game this is a different kind of strategy game where the maps are very unfair. You may end up at the far end of a peninsula. You may be walled in behind one barbarian. And, you know, you, you just have to adapt and try to make the best of your situation and try to triumph despite the odds. So, a lot of gold. Holy cow, a lot of gold here. You know what? I'm just going to move this guy here. And put the wall right here. That's even better. Gonna wall those guys out for a while. Even a solitary solitary fortress can keep those guys walled out. So it looks like the Zulu are changing over to Republic now. We'll see what they do. Feeling a little nervous running around with just one warrior here, so I'm going to be conservative, heal him up. Let's get this galley out. 
question is, is do I change over? I think I should just build one warrior. Hopefully I can find a bunch of cool artifacts. Alright. Sweep this way. <laughs> oh, man. Seven cities of gold. Wow, that's beautiful. In that case, I'm gonna go ahead and swap over. Could be looking up for, t for the Romans. <laughs> so now the French are also going Republic, so we should look for some expansion from both AI opponents. All right, so we have Republic. So that means it's time to start expanding like Mad Men. Even in, uh, even in the ancient era, you can get a lot done. This is practically paying for itself at this point. Yes, indeed. Definitely some things are going my way now. I just have so much gold, I don't even know what to do right now. Go ahead and rush this as well. It is time to start making use of this territory. All right. Wow, there's a whale. Can't make use of that whale gonna have to take him I don't want to disrupt these fortresses either so maybe I can't really do anything. That currency. Uh, there's a whale. Can make use of that.
You really want to expand effectively and use these turns as effectively and as quickly as you can, especially at this point. Because we need some, we got some catching up, some catching up to do. So what we can do is you can use this warrior to make this go a little faster. Run him over. We just got a pump. You see these out. And it's 40 gold, so I have no excuse here. Nice. Nice. <laughs> this is another nice little island I can expand to right over here. So there's going to be doing a lot of island hops it seems. left on this island. I think Republic's going pretty well right now, so I'm going to stick with this. dead end here. I think I'm just going to go defend the homeland here. Those guys don't really have anything left to do. Nothing left. So Athens is going to wall off France for me. And these guys are just doing their duty. Defending the homeland. And I'm going to continue exploring that island. Why were the Greeks under despotism? Are you stupid? That's mysterious. can get two on this island if I put one here and one there but then I'd be sitting on this resource is it worth it I think it is two wonders left Yeah, I wanted to run out to this far end of this peninsula here. I had a feeling fish were over here. Fish are beautiful. So, let's make use of it.
could just place it right here. A little leery about putting it a little too close. Then again, I do have culture push helping from my capital, so maybe I'll be okay. Yeah, there's really nowhere to really make a perfect spot here, so you just kind of got to go with it. Still in the game. It, the question is, are the Chinese in the game? No. They're not because I can get writing first, so that's good. Perhaps I can steal a great person. Just gonna use this caravan to help expand a little faster. Um, this guy, I'm just gonna put two cities here. I don't care about that stone resource. Yeah, I think it does. I've never actually tried that, but I'm almost positive it does. There's, I don't think there's any reason that it wouldn't. You could stack those up. It's just so rare that I settle those uh, great builders. It's rare that I take advantage of something like that, but it'd be interesting to see how that would go. It could be an interesting mega city um, application of that. sure where to place this guy. Could put him right in the middle. Be a little bit doofy, but it would, at least it would be a city where I could stack up some production for a while. Wouldn't be too too horrible. I 
I don't want to put him on the other side of this fortress. I don't want to invite all kinds of problems. But, you know, with half cost wonders, you know, maybe this couldn't be, this may not be the worst idea. Just for the sake of getting some, uh, may even save me later if I have to pump out some military units. So, we'll see. Now the idea here would be to drop this guy off and make a whole bunch of cities. Alright, let's see what we got. 14 cities. Yay! Is it enough to defeat the Zulu? I don't know. Um, but I really want some settlers to go explore elsewhere at this point. I'm going to have to camp out for a little bit with that boat. Getting ready next turn, though. So that's... Things are looking up. Much? Eight culture per turn? Doing all right. 24 science. Not too bad. Considering the start. Alright, so we got the half cost wonders now, and we gotta do something with this spy. Uh, where to go from here? Perhaps we got a lot of cities, so irrigation would be huge. And getting a wall would be nice. Yeah, getting an extra 14 population would be ridiculous at this point. Hey, 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 get back there. Let's 
Sorry, buddy. Thing is really touchy. Sometimes it just skips your turn. Um, just gotta keep going. Might be able to get these warriors back without even declaring war. Got a nice beautiful wall now. Looking pretty good. Marble isn't really too great. I don't think I'm really even going to make use of that. Making use of that fish? Yep. Just want to get one more settler here. Might have to be patient. These guys are broke. The Egyptians aren't in this game because I want irrigation. Could be they could possibly steal it. That would be bad. So good to get irrigation first in these conditions. Very happy about that. <sighs> Definitely going literacy next. A whale. Forty six. Forty six per turn now. Yeah, Athens, they just kinda of always sit there, man. They are I mean, most games they don't even come out and get their barbarian huts because they're so lazy. They just sit in their city. They're pretty unique in terms of uh all of the different AIs. 
a lot of the times they're content to just sit in their city and uh, just try they try to tech up using democracy but it doesn't really work too well they pretty much leave you alone they leave everyone alone so let's go see if we can find something cool with this boat Thankfully, the Zulu are leaving us alone. So that's something. Barracks? I feel like I'm going to need that. regret it if I don't get that alright I'm even beating the Greek in tech so tied with the Roman tied with the French and culture and the Zulu they're actually losing in money despite their fast start so looks like we've turned it around thanks to the seven cities of gold Want to give me iron working? Okay. I don't mind. Now, currency is a lot better, but. Like, currency is a kind of worthless tech for them. Like, I don't think, like, the computer doesn't really tech up and try to get industrialism and corporation and all that stuff. So it's like, I don't really need that stuff, though. About to get a huge spike here. Thanks to literacy, thank goodness. Plus one. This is gonna be a tough decision here. What are, mathematics? Mathematics would be real nice. Look at that, I already have iron working. The guy was trying to sell it to me. Trying to trade it to me anyway. I wish that ceremonial burial should give you a temple for free. It's like the only second tier tech that doesn't give you something nice. I feel like it's a bug. It should give you something. This gives you a wall. This gives you a, a Roman. A legion. I believe it does. I never researched it. I wouldn't even know. Alright. I'm gonna go for the whales just because I have so many islands. Do you blame me? Do you blame me for going for that? I don't think so. What? They want irrigation. Oh, they're coming to get me. All, all of that over irrigation. Dude, you just take a hose and you spray, you spray the grass. That's it. And you just make little channels in the soil. It's not hard. So we're up to 58. I think we're doing pretty well. 58 tech per turn. Not too bad. Considering our completely stanky start. I can't believe this guy just sitting there. Uh, this could be interesting. What's my... Uh, so I'm at 133 culture. 
Now I could luck out and get something really cool here. Feudalism would be nice. Do I get feudalism first? Or banking? Get that from a hut perhaps? Maybe? Nope. Not this time. Yeah, I'm going to have to take this east. Yeah, I agree, J. Mash. I think uh, with this setup, I'd be pretty foolish to go with anything else. Got a lot of, got a few whales I can leverage, so. Don't forget to change this back. Oh, baby. I done got a free catapult. Oh, navigation. Not bad. Two turns. Two turns. Alright, start banking hammers, dude. Uh-oh. They're getting froggy. Nope, not yet. They're thinking about it, though. I haven't run into some huts out here. I'm gonna have to do a drop. I should have done a drop over here. I'm getting a little bit anxious about exploring over here. Why did it say navigation two turns? That's not even true. That's not even true, man. Oh, wait, yeah, it is. Okay, 116. Yeah, so it just makes it there. That's some English major math for you. Wow. They got a great build over here. Nothing I can do right now, though. Coming up on a great person. Whoa, what's this guy up to? It's alright, I got my little, I got my catapult positioned on the hill, I'm ready for him. Got my fortresses set up. Uh, hopefully they just don't, they don't mess with my islands, that would piss me off a lot. Usually they don't. We'll see about that though. So we got navigation and a culture milestone next turn. Not bad. Zula kept peace though. They 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 just they're getting a little angry. We get a galleon now too, so that'll help. And it's a veteran galleon, even better. We just got our great person, so maybe it's time to go for monarchy. I don't have ceremonial burial though. Is that gonna mess me up? How many turns? Oh! <laughs> oh, that's perfect. You know what I'm building, right? You know what I'm building. I'm just going to go straight for Monarchy because I already know what's going to happen here. 
East India Company. That's right. It's going to feel so good to press this button. Might have to blow those guys up. We'll see. Try to play it cool. Some more nice islands. I have no problem with taking advantage of these. Yeah, really, game over. Should be, anyway. Uh, hypothetically, could I get over there and steal that guy and get him all the way home? Maybe? I think I'm just going to sell my spy, to be honest. So I can rush this settler. So I can just move on here. Make sure I'm set up for success here. Looks good. Looks beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Zulu look a little confused. And you know what? They gave me peace, so I'll let them be for now. And to be honest, I don't even think that's guaranteed. So I'm not going to mess around with this guy right now. Alright, more great people. That is not going to do anything for me. So we're going into the, what is this? Industrial era. Got some dye. Great person. Monarchy's a terrible government, not going with that. 
it's time to get engineering so we can start building stuff. <laughs> Actually, let's get banking. That way we can, it'll help us expand a little bit more. Just got a little more expensive to expand. Let's see if we can get lucky here. The coolest thing I can get right now. Uh, let's see. Don't think it'll happen, but we'll try it. Go back to banking. And we're getting another great person, so we'll see what that is too. We making use of our die? A little bit. Pulling through, we're pulling through. Let's see. Got a great scientist, that's a good thing. Hold off for now. Oop, oop. And we'll be getting banking next turn, so that's very good. Uh, let's see here. Zulu, very quiet. AI just, they hate those fortresses, so if you set those suckers up, they don't want to mess with them. They just go look for something else to do. I'm going to save this and get industrialization next turn, so we'll see how that goes. Save that great scientist. Here we go. There's industrialization. Now they're in big trouble. Now we can do this. Plus five gold in each city. It's 
absolutely game over. Nothing here. Want to make use of that whale? Alright, looks like we've backfilled quite a bit. We got construction now. Engineering is a great one. Let's get that. Ooh, we're almost getting it in one turn. Very close. We have a ton of gold on hand, so we're going to use that to continue expansion. Even though it's 80 gold a pop, doesn't matter. Should be more gold, but it's worth a shot. veteran status wow finally dreams do come true I know there's another oh it's the Russians So this is a pretty fearsome onslaught from the French I'm enduring right now. I haven't even seen them. I guess that's one advantage of being on a peninsula. Alright, so we got one production each city. Uh, we're going to go and get invention. I think so. Get another great person. I don't think this boat has a whole lot left to do here except help them expand, so... Yeah, the Russians just been hanging out. 
Nothing better to do, I guess. Yeah, I don't think anything exciting is under here. So let's go back. So I'm going to be prompted to build all this stuff. I build something. Here we are again at the worst part of civilization. Mass, issuing mass orders to all of your cities. Build something guys, build something. Really it shouldn't even do this, what it should do, it should just bank the hammers. And if you're too dumb to go and use them then it should, it's your fault. coming for me. Wow, that's a nice spot over there. Too bad the Russians are too stupid to use it. Got two whales. Come on, guys. Oh! Oh, baby! We're going for it. We're going in. going on a mission. Oh yeah, the screen ranking is really bad. <coughs> Excuse me. If they went back and really polished this game and made it released Civilization Revolution Part 2 a proper version on consoles, it would just be amazing. They wouldn't even have to change that much. 
So you can just adjust the tech tree around a little bit, add a few different layers. Here we go. Wish me luck. <laughs> we did it, boys. We did it. We done got us a great builder. And we should be getting another great person here. From invention. They didn't make Civ Rev 2 because they hate money. They hate it. They just don't want my, our money. It's the only thing I can figure. They're coming. Oh, dude, they are so mad that I stole their great builder. They're just like, I am. We're coming for you. I don't even care. Which wonder would benefit me the most right now? Samurai Castle, that would be nice. Could build a whole bunch of legions, pump them out, and then use Leonardo's workshop. That's something. What do you think? What do you think? I think it's good. I think the Zulu would change their mind. I think they would say. Yeah, you know, we don't really want to be at war anymore. <sighs> Let's see. That would definitely take all the heat off of this part of the map. Only problem is we're going to have to change over to feudalism now. No big deal though. <laughs> Not a big deal at all.
Sure. Will the Zulu do anything? Will they even take one of my expansions? Will they just sit there? Spot's pretty nice. Do you think they have spies in Paris? I don't. Here we go. That work? Looks like it. Okay. Still have not found a couple of artifacts. Haven't found Atlantis, haven't found the mystery. There's another mystery item on the map. Alright, that's what I was looking for. I was looking for a railroad. These guys are just pumping out left and right. Wow.
be nice to take out these weaker cities first. Get these guys off my case. Not quite sure what these guys have waiting in store. Maybe legions? I don't think I want to take a risk here. Wow, I'm going to get temples in all of my cities. That should be pretty amazing. Right now, it looks like I have 22 cities. Pretty good. And we just got plus one population, so let's go through and straighten out all these resources here. Got to go through all these cities and make sure they are doing what they need to be doing after you get a great humanitarian. Pumps up all their population by one. It's 241 science now. Not bad for Republic government. Pretty good. I'm planning an uh, infiltration of Paris at the moment.
See what happens here. Looks like they're trying to expand. <laughs> Temples in every city. What's up, Steve? Hey, Smokums. What's going on, buddy? You think this little, uh... You think this little skullduggery I got going on at Paris is gonna work? The question is, am I going to steal two great people in this turn? Alright, so they got 12 techs. I don't think they have... I think they have archers, so we should be good here. No! Wow. <laughs> no, the pen is not a great hero. Unbelievable.
don't think it's worth rushing this. Probably better off just going with some uh, cruisers. Get this castle out of the way. We're going to hang on to that. We're going to hang on to that great scientist. I have big plans for him. Uh. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> so stupid. University in one turn. Can't complain about that. <laughs> yeah, the villagers know they they're all about that corporation. They know all about it. So next villager is going to bust out some atomic theory, advanced flight, and <laughs> now let's see here. Ha <laughs> 
It sure looks like Condoleezza Rice. Using the Romans. That was insulting. Oh, look, the Russians. We found them. <laughs> Aztecs. I think Aztecs were like my first my first love in this game. Gonna give these guys a hard time. Just because. I know it may seem like I'm kind of continuing to go to the military, military techs at this stage of the game, but you really can't just get complacent too early against the computer on Deity, so. You just got to keep pressing and just make sure they're just completely annihilated. Oh man, Nightbot.
Dude, that guy's helmet flew off. Did you see that? Gonna take infiltration. Someone built the Great Wall. <laughs> um, I need to figure out what my best production city is. I don't really have any great ones. Mostly tech cities since I'm on islands everywhere <laughs> too many cities man All right, boys, we got combustion. We have tanks.
Let me make sure that this is my... This has got to be my best production city. Syracuse isn't too bad. Nice. Thanks, guys. Nice city. I like it. What else you got here? Got to get the factory. Need to get some production going there. Ouch. Damn, put up a nasty fight.
You held on. Dude, there's a villager over there. Think they got atomic theory? Are they gonna give me atomic theory? Yes! Atomic theory from the villagers. Goodbye, Zulu. <laughs> Nuke the zoo.
got a pretty comfortable lead. You know, I don't worry, I'm not too worried about the Greek. They're just kind of hanging out, man. They're not getting in my way, not causing problems. I'm all right with them. Hmm. They want atomic theory, huh? So if I didn't end up running around like a maniac, I would have been around here. And I would have ended up pretty close to the Russians. So that, this actually did come out over here. That may have been better. Looks like there's more, the Russians are a pretty weak opponent compared to the Zulu. I think that would have been better. Dude, I, I'll nuke, uh, Paris. Paris is a nice target. The game keeps telling me they're the, they're the greatest city. I don't know about that.
Just holding these guys off here. Not really a threat. I'm actually just going to settle this guy. Because I'm actually going to go for a cultural victory. So let's go ahead and settle him. I don't really need a lot right now. You know, I could actually get a fleet over here. This terrain's kind of a pain in my butt. Whoa, the galley's out. They can't do anything right. Flip my city, but I'm not too worried about it. That's Paris for you. That's why he's gonna get nuked. This game never really seems to get old to me either. I've beaten this computer down so many times, but it's still enjoyable. Thanks, Genocide. Appreciate it, man.
Gave him a shot. Didn't work. Just like that. The Russians are history. <laughs> yeah, I have heard about Catherine the Great's exploits. <laughs> she has sex with horses, that's what she does. Allegedly. Alright, that's four wonders in one turn. That'll help. 
What else can we do? Let's see here. Those guys won't even take a chance on that lookout. Help, I got too many cities. It takes forever to get around this map. going on over here It's not going to cut it. 
Not going to cut it, France. These guys still have Bronze Age technology. So we got 12 out of 20. Getting pretty close. Magna Carta takes us to 13. Trade fair. Some of these cities I just need to put on gold. That way it stops bothering you so much. Once you put it on gold, a lot of times it just stops building stuff. As you can see, it goes to zero hammers. This is getting uh, a little too much. Now I only have so many wonders to build. And really, you can just rush these with gold anyway. So, surprise. They're really lucky I didn't get a general. I have no idea how that didn't result in a general. Artillery? Artillery is too slow, man.
Need the cavalry. I kind of don't want to finish that wonder there. Great general. Oh. Nope. Can't believe the Oracle is calling off lost battles at this stage of the game. It's wild. I gotta build something else here. Workshop, maybe? Bye bye. <laughs> Sorry, genocide. Sorry about that, man. Oh wait, 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 wait. The French they're still in this now. 
I forgot about this little dumpy city over here. There you go. French are totally in the game. Holy cow. So many cities I got to manage, manage all my cities. Holy cow, how many cities do I have? <laughs> oh! Where is it going? Here? Here? Somewhere else? It's going here, folks. No, I'm not dad today. Today I'm uh, Melfin. Melfin X. Oh! Oh, feels kind of dirty. They were so nice the whole game.
You know what's amazing about this game? If I did my builds right on the wonders there, I actually kind of messed up because I was anxious to get military industrial complex. I'm obviously not playing like for a speed run super best time ever, but this is an amazing time for considering my start and how things are. I didn't really get a good start, so. Well, seven cities of gold really helped, but it was really a delayed start. All right, there we go. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. I'm the best of all time, according to this game, for once. Usually they, uh, usually they don't like me too much. It seems like it must be ranking based on how many cities you have. Because I had a lot of cities. I bet you it had to do with that. What else? Looks like that's it. Well, uh, so we started this up at 9. This took about almost 3 hours. Um, we kind of took our time and not the best start, and we had to do a lot of expansion. But uh, we had a good time. I think we learned a few valuable lessons as well. And we even got to nuke somebody, so it was actually pretty cool. Um, right now I'm trying to decide if I'm going to play another game. It's 11.52. I don't know about that. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll get some sleep and then, uh, what I need to do is set up, uh, I want to do two streams per week, ideally. I'm actually currently working on my setup and everything. What I'm doing is, uh, I just bought a new computer just for streaming and uh, so I'm gonna get my new setup perfect downstairs um, it's kinda like a sound studio in the basement so I'm gonna take advantage of that and uh, that way I can play two maybe even three times a week depending on how uh, how this goes if people are interested want to check out the games so if you enjoyed the stream definitely uh, let folks know about you know, you know, link them, you know, hey, follow this guy, he, you know, plays a pretty strong game of civilization, revolution, and uh, maybe I can get two or three going a week, and I'm also looking to branch out into a few other games, uh, I love this game, of course, but, uh, um, and I think I've kind of cornered the market on this game, there's not really a lot of good folks out there that are really playing this game at a high level on a video, um, so... I mean, I've looked out there, a lot of them are, are just kind of old, they're not really that uh, sharp on their tactics. Um, not saying I'm the best player, but there really just aren't that many producing videos. So, um, yeah, so we'll keep this going. Maybe next time we'll play Indians, that sounds interesting. Maybe Indians, Aztecs, maybe even the Germans. I feel like I've never had a strong game of the Germans. I always feel like I mess up. I don't know what it is about them. So, uh, let's call it a night, guys. It was a pretty good night. It's my first stream. I think it went pretty well. And this will get re-uploaded to YouTube as well. So, you can look forward to viewing it there as well. Uh, so, thanks for joining. And I'll see you next time. Good night.